In this video, we are going to see how to store environment variables and how to use them during the build. CodeMagic exports several built-in environment variables during the build that you can use, like the absolute path to your Android or Flutter SDK, the number of the builds, or some useful information about your source control, like the name of the branch that triggered the build, the commit hash, and many other useful variables. You can see them at this page. Now let's see how we can store our own files and variables. First thing we should understand are groups. Environment variable groups allow you to define and store related sets of variables that are reusable in your workflows. A variable group tags a set of variable that can be imported together in the codemagic.yaml file. Let's open our app and go to the environment variables tab. We can see that we can enter our variable name, value, and its group. Let's say, for example, I want to save my Android Keystore information in a group called Keystore Credentials. So, first, add your key alias and let's call the variable cmkeyalias. Enter the value here and select or create the group name. Now let's add our key password. Notice that we have to encrypt this variable value. So let's click on the secure check button. Same goes for the key store password. The last variable is the key store itself. We can't copy the content of the file. So we're going to page 64, encode the file, and then store that encoded value. There are several ways to do it, but I'll open my get bash and run this command. Now copy this encoded value and add it here. These are called application level environment variables. So only this app has access to them. You can add global environment variables in the team settings so they can be shared across all the team's applications. Notice that if you have a global variable and an application variable with the same name, then the application variable will override the global variable value when using it. Lastly, accessing environment variables. In our codemagic.yaml file, now we can access these variable by importing the group, which we called keystore credentials. We can access this variable by adding the dollar sign sample in front of the variable name. Only during the build, the encoded variables can be decoded. But for the binary files, we need to base64 decode it during the build time in our script section using the following command. That's all about environment variables. Sign up now and get 500 free build minutes every month using personal accounts.